สวัสดีครับ Welcome back everybody to this new video. I would like to preface the foundation of this video is the idea that you can shoot macro photography with almost any kind of gear. You don't need a full macro lens to shoot macro photography. In this case, I've gone out with this macro extension tube. That I have owned for a while, and later on in the video, we'll show a little bit of my friends uh, getting a new macro extension too for the House of Blood. Though, unfortunately, he wasn't really pleased with the images that he has taken on that day. So, with due respect to him, I will not be showing images that he has taken. And. After that, we'll just have a small section about um, using a macro lens add-on uh, using a phone. With that said, the first part is wanting to show just the layout of this macro extension tube on the XT1. That this is the uh, far focus, so this would technically be at infinity, quote unquote. With the extension tube at f8, and then the next part will be at f16, so we get just a little bit more that the field and the mask of another character becomes into in focus a little bit more, and then just side by side comparison between the two uh, images, and then the closest focus at f8, and then the closest focus at f16. And then without the macro extension tube, just the regular lens, the 18 to 55 kit lens, the closest focus it can do is here, which I still think is pretty respectable. And the first place that we went to is the Queen's Park at Prom Pong BTS, where they have a garden with many flowers, and with many flowers, they are. Bees around for us to try to photograph. Unfortunately, they are not too big, but with macro lenses, they can look bigger. Besides just having color photos, one that I have observed and tested out through. Editing is actually to try black and white, and maybe it's just these kinds of flowers and situation in particular where the colors seem to blend together, making some of the insect um, harder to notice. But when putting into black and white, the flowers and the bouquet in the background starts to blend together into one gray shade, and then the bees themselves become very um, that's noticeable and stand out. Very nicely with the higher contrast, and this does not require to increase the contrast too much. Just the natural contrast of the bees and the flower makes the bees themselves pop out much more. Another example here is this insect. I don't really know what it is, but after taking a couple of photos and back to the editing area, is that because it's green, it blends with the background quite a bit, and without having it look unnatural, it's a little bit hard to let it pop out. And so I tried doing it in black and white, and again with the different bouquet in the background colors with the foreground in focus. Uh, Flowers, they then blend together into one shade, while the insect itself, because it's still in focus, the contrast of that insect then pops out a little bit more. But do let me know again, like which one do you prefer or which one is more clear to see. This other photo is an example of how the colors themselves gives the contrast needed 
to let the insect be more noticeable. The purple of the leaves then contrast with the green of this, uh, I think it's grasshopper, then allow the grasshopper to be noticeable. After that, we decided to leave and I did a little bit of street photography, but because this is still a macro photography focused video, I'll be moving on to the photography side of things using a phone and a lens add-on. In this section where I try to use uh, my phone to take some micro photography with an add-on lens, you can see the footage. Uh, sample that I tried to take is quite poor, but that's just the nature of using my very old phone. But the possibility is there and that is the main point that I want to get across. There are better add-ons uh, to get macro photography and I might try to share a couple more photo samples in the future video to compare and contrast more deeply into them. But for now, I might as well take this section to talk about settings. And it's the same thing with your phone where at the very least, maybe you should have a manual mode in your phone's photography app, which I do believe most phones should have it. This is a very old phone and one of the more budget friendly ones and it still has its manual professional quote unquote settings. So in this case, I try to set it at a minimum of a thousand shutter speed, which is the same as the settings that I use in my X-T1. And I set the ISO on the phone to uh, 1600. And yes, that is still quite a lot of noise for a phone and then try to use manual focus instead and the first few shots with manual focus trying to test what is the phone's own uh, maximum infinity focus with the add-on lens and then the minimum focus you can get with the macro uh, lens add-on and so try to find something in between besides that also try to use uh, its own continuous focus which actually I think did the best job um, instead of trying to just move the phone in and out of focus to capture the bees, the continuous focus actually did quite a decent job. XT1 camera in the same location and testing out its own continuous focus here, um, it also did quite a decent job to follow the bees around as long as I keep the focus um, quite box keep the focus box quite small and just be sure to follow the beast and of course um, it will follow quite well um, for such a old camera. Now with the X-T1 um, of course using the lens the aperture you would want to at least start at f8 some people recommend f11 I experiment with a uh, various apertures depending on lighting and just how I personally feel my setting shifts between the ISO uh, is it going too high or do I after checking some of the photos need more depth of field because I'm too close so at the very least minimum would be at f8 and then some of the photos I go up to f16 I don't really do f11 it's just either 8 and 16 
and now we are at the end of the video thank you all for watching if you want to see more photos i have a link below to the entire gallery and feel free to check it out there are a couple of other macro photos that i've taken many months ago of a mosquito that i find to be very interesting um, for the first time ever and it was pretty in focus with that said i have three more videos that i want to try to get done and hope to film much more for those vlogs and a little bit more b-roll with that said i hope to see you all next time bye for now